circuit, which was a lot more hectic. And Alex, oh, yeah. I bet you're excited to talk about this one. Not really. Um, well, um, your, your buddy yeah, didn't quite finish the race, really but we'd ignore one. that part. But IndyCar, yeah. they travelled to Toronto. They did, and it was, for well, one of a lack of a better word, hectic. Yeah, no, that's one best, safe way. That's the best word I can describe. It. Like there was, yes. there was a turn one, lap one crash, for example, mm. straight away. It was uh, two cars in the fence. Wow. Restart. A couple laps later, another car in the fence. The track around Toronto is. I love IndyCar tracks. They just so cool. throw them anywhere. Like yeah. seriously, bumps, speed bumps. They could even do a jump. They just throw it there. That doesn't matter. I wish they yeah. raced at Chicago when NASCAR did. Especially, that would be cool. <laughs> but especially the Nashville circuit. Obviously, this was in Toronto, but mm. the Nashville circuit literally goes over and back over a bridge. Oh, they yeah. just close it completely. It's like a wow. Grand Turismo Cra- track. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Imagine the Gold Coast circuit just going back the opposite way and just closing the whole city. Mm. That's what they're doing in Nashville. There you go. Wow. Anyway, um, yeah, the results were... Well, actually, for Colton Herder, it was quite simple. He led actually well for the first time. History breaking, yeah. Yeah, he led every single session, all practice, all quality race. Wow, that is rare. unstoppable. Very, that is yeah. very rare. Well, well in IndyCar well, yeah. at least, but um, yeah, unbelievable. And uh, he's followed by his teammate uh, Kyle Kirkwood, and he did very good. He did a good um, job as well. Yeah, there was a lot of thrills and spills, including a rollover, or well, half rollover, I'll call it. Um. Mm. Which was Antonio Ferrucci um, with 13 laps to go. Um, yeah, I saw that. Pato Ward in the McLaren lost it, was sat on the outside of the corner just praying to God no one would hit him. The ramp brought to you by um, McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he was a ramp. Um, and yeah, a couple of cars collected him, including his teammate. Nolan Siegel. Um, poor chair, who actually was replacing Alexander Rossi, who crashed in practice. Um he uh, obviously, you know, he got fired. Yeah, this is awkward. So if you don't know, <laughs> he signed, I'll let you explain the, it. The McLaren Indy saga is just it's worse than Red Bull. Unbelievable. Formula one. That, I think they've had about 1,600 drivers race from this year. <laughs> um, I'm not even kidding. Their port chair from Switzerland, I believe, used to be, well, I think he still is, the Sauber reserve driver. Mm. Um. Comes into McLaren, gets this multi-year deal. Look at me, I'm <laughs> signing this contract. Not even a month later, gets sacked. <laughs> and then two weeks later, replaces a driver that they kicked him out for. Who's also being kicked out at the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, who's also <laughs> leaving at the end Despite of the year. Despite doing yeah, quite well. It, 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 it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no oh. sense. He literally gets flown in on a Saturday and goes, you drive. Yeah, and then Nolan yeah. Siegel gets hired after winning Le Mans. Yeah, literally <laughs> wins then, Le Mans. Didn't was somebody get hired and they got a race ban or they got... Like something happened to them as oh, well. Oh, someone got hired. This is how it all started. He got hired, but then he actually had an injury, injury. or something, so he couldn't even compete. Yeah. Well. So they pulled him out of the contract, and that's that's how um he you know, got his got his seat. But that's some, unbelievable. Something, only to get kicked but out. Something really really interesting happened. I don't know around 2023 or whatever, but. Contracts in motorsport Nothing. seem to matter no more. Especially these days. Some lawyer has been able to find a clause that says this piece of paper means nothing. You think <laughs> you're safe, you are not. No, hundred yeah, percent. S- sign the multi-year deal. Bam, gone. You know? Yeah, literally. <laughs> but, but back in the day, um, a couple of things I want to point out. Couple, back back in the day, twelve months was twelve months. You mm-hmm. were the driver. You're locked the in. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other thing is. The contract negotiations, whether it's MotoGP or Formula One, are happening too early in the season. So mm. three or four rounds in, they're deciding the 2025 drivers or riders. And yep. riders yep. and drivers go through waves of performance. And so hot today, oh, quick, we got to sign him. Otherwise, Yamaha is going to get him. And then <laughs> well, I'm sorry, th- then he starts doing bad. This exact thing you're talking about is Sergio Perez. Literally, exactly. as soon as yeah. he signs a contract, he's terrible. But speaking of teammates, we go back to IndyCar. I feel so sorry for Scott McLaughlin. Oh, he, he was, was in set for place. a podium. He was set. I can tell you. He yeah, was, he was in get a fourth podium. at the time. And Will Power just thought, yeah, he was teammate. He just, he lost, he just lost control. Yeah. I don't know. He just, it was the, it, that move was not on. He, if you didn't see it, he went to go dive bomb Scott, uh, locked the rear brakes, hit Scott, and he was in the fence. I'd love to be a fly in that in that box so that's just oh. afterwards anyway. roger will not be happy i'll tell you that yeah. i can but see the worst, him part, the worst part is for scott is he is a championship contender well, was a championship contender and he's mm. lost all these points well, that's the thing is will power is as well so they both he will screw both of them rub, it was a rubbish weekend for penske which what looked like a good you know scott did say they weren't the fastest car mm. yeah. colton was on another level but 
you know, still got, got good so points. So what's the gap now in the championship points? Like, I'll is find that, it out, but is he well, bigger P- than Pelot actually had a bad weekend as well. Uh, he actually had point. a bad weekend last time. And he was Iowa. in front of them. Both Will Power and Scott McLaughlin were mm. in front, and they will just jeopardize both their races and championships for nothing. And Joseph Newgarden had an issue in the pit lane, which saw him have three tires on, at one point. Um, did you guys ever see... pretty sure cars have four, four tires normally. Did you guys ever see Danny Pedrosa take out Nicky Hayden? During the 2006, uh, no, I never period. watched I any six of years old. Stuff. No. <laughs> I never, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we're the children in the room. <laughs> okay, so what happened was Nikki Hayden was leading the world championship, Valentino Rossi was making a monster comeback, and long story short, penultimate round, Danny Pedrosa, teammate of Nikki Hayden, just wipes him out, yeah, and right. Rossi goes on to lead the championship going into the final round. It was crazy. All right. Now, that, with that being said about the championship fight, Alex Pelot, right? He had a bad weekend, but got to say, he did some pretty good driving this weekend, given how he dodged a lot of incidents, especially the Pato Award one, because Pato spun out right in front of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. He actually avoided that. Had a little little wiggle. Um, Which so would have been nice. Imagine I, that. I don't want drivers to be in crashes, but it would have made the championship a whole lot crazier. <laughs> he well, was certainly would have helped. Um, Will Power and Scott McLaughlin. Yeah, well, uh, the yeah, only, Will, the Will, only Power, benef- Will Power is helping everyone but his teammate. Exactly. exactly. Well, the only beneficial driver this week was Colton Herder. So, yeah, he um, did sensational. Well, speaking of that, I may as well go through the top 10. Uh, he won Colton Herder, Carl Kirkwood second, Scott Dixon third, Alex Pelot still finished fourth, unbelievably. That's a bad weekend. Sounds like Max Verstappen. Except um, friendlier. Yeah, except friendlier. Yeah, um, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, fifth place was Marcus Armstrong. David Malukas was sixth. Christian Lungard seventh. Renus VK um, was eighth. Romain Grosjean, who put a great move on Will Power and, mm. didn't, and didn't send him into the fence. That's how you overtake. So maybe we, uh, Will should look at his uh, overtake. And that's actually surprising given it's Grosjean. <laughs> remember when yeah, he very, remember when he crashed out on the. True. Remember the. I think it was warm on up the safety car. Was it warm up or safety car at Baku? Mm-hmm. Uh, no safety car. When he just did a Scott McLaughlin, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the difference with him and Scott McLaughlin is Scott McLaughlin had a car issue. Yes. Roman Grosjean had a brain issue. Yeah. Well, it went straight into the wall. Uh, Roman. Yeah. <laughs> How's and, his uh, esports team going, by the way? Like, uh, he's got his own team. And, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's not Redline. No, 100%. No. Um, That's probably why we don't even know about it. Graham <laughs> Rahal finished 10th. And I want to shout out Graham. Did you know he did a steering wheel change in the pit stop? So he did a five did wheel change. Wow. wow. So he literally just stopped, pulled the steering wheel off, handed it over to the mechanic. Mechanic gave him a new one. He put it on and he lost two seconds. That's pretty good. Two. That's bad. Wow. That's really good. That's 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 a fantastic stop. Mm. And given Shout how Joseph Newgarden couldn't even have four wheels. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> remarkable. I have to say, <laughs> that, I have to say that whenever I hear change. steering wheel changes, I, I think of Kimmy. Steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hey, steering wheel. Where's my gloves? Hey. <laughs> gloves and steering wheel. Yeah. Come on. God, I miss him. I oh, miss you him. Do a, <laughs> you do a very good impression of Come Kimmy. Come on. He's just a bit more energetic than Kimmy. Actually, you, in Come saying on. that, we were saying in the watch long, you, you were actually saying um, how unenthusiastic Oscar looks. Yeah, and then there was Kimmy Reichen. Yeah, we didn't even touch on that. So. Yeah, but, oh, real quick. Oscar's not a very, you know, look at me kind of guy. He's, He's not, not as really emotional brag. as Daniel Ricciardo. Up. No, well, Daniel literally under the seatbelts and went like this. Um, yeah. Oscar gives me Alan Prost vibes, you know, like the professor. Very polished, chilled. Yeah, a bit I'll, of an easier honest. accent to follow. He could win a championship <laughs> and just go, thanks, guys. That was good. Um, <laughs> so good. Good teamwork. Uh, it's, uh, a day I'll never forget. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's Kimmy who, who wins the title. And no, you a... could just do impressions if this doesn't go well. <laughs> My God. It's a... Uh, a day I'll never forget. And then there's me in Formula RX8 uh, national Screaming Yeah, if you win, right? If you win a race this coming round, yes, you got to do a Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs> Just go like. No, I I was, was I good. challenge you to do an Oscar Piastri. You'd be like, thanks. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I give up. Yeah. It's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not uh, happening. Um, you're more likely to see a nudie run down the straight than a. Just hang on. Are we hang on. Let's not make announcements before it's too late. Yeah, Otherwise, you might end up being having to do a nude. Well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah.